Hi, it's Deanna from Books Children's Treasure, and I cannot wait to tell you about the book I finished last night, The Detective's Assistant by Kate Hannigan. This was one fantastic story. It was adventure, it was mystery, it was historical fiction. Nell is a young girl that has been raised in upstate New York. This is the mid-1800s, and that's all she's known is farm life. Her family members have passed away, and she's all on her own. What will she do without her family? She learns that she has an aunt in Chicago, and she's excited that she can go see her Aunt Kate and stay with her after all their family. Well, when she gets dropped off at Kate's door in Chicago, Aunt Kate is not happy. Nell doesn't understand this. Families are supposed to be together and love one another. But Kate doesn't want anything to do with her family. Kate has set up her own life in Chicago and wants to be on her own. Nell soon learns that Kate is one of is the first female detective in the United States. Nell is very good and very aware of what's going on around her. She reads the newspaper vigorously to know what's going on in the world. She has very keen ears and eyes that catches all kinds of things going on in the city. Pretty soon Nell is a pretty good assistant to Aunt Kate, even when Aunt Kate doesn't want to admit it. Nell is able to help solve a murder and solve a robbery. In fact, she even meets the newly elected President Abraham Lincoln. Nell also has a friend named Gemma who one day just left. She doesn't know where Gemma and her family left to other than it was Canada. Why did they leave? Gemma and Nell begin writing letters to one another and through those letters they figure out about the Underground Railroad. Nell finally pieces together the information that she has about her family and explains different things to Kate. Kate and Nell are soon inseparable. In fact, Nell has finally discovered what family is. Well, to her, she says, To me, family means taking the folks we're stuck with and choosing to love them anyway. I hope that you will quickly go to the library or to your local bookstore and pick up this book. It is a wonderful story. I cannot highly, highly, I highly recommend it. And so, happy daily reading.